So, uh, I hate these uh, naked face videos, but I suppose that's what really with me, it has to start this way. Um, anyway, face all washed and um, uh, cleansed and um, I've got my serums on and moisturisers and so on. Um, primer not yet, I'll do that later on. But the first thing I'm doing is going to do my nails because um, it's morning at the moment and then they can dry. Um, so I have chosen this colour from API, which I, I bought recently from Amazon. I'm hoping you can see this. Right, it's called An Affair in Red Square. And um, being a, a sort of a fest the festive season coming up. I bought this for that and I thought that's what I'll wear tonight because I'm wearing a red dress. Um, and this video will go out in December when you're all getting ready for, you know, your festive events. Now I'm not going to use a base coat. If I was going to use a nail varnish for, um, for, and keep it on for a while, um, but because uh, I will probably only keep this on for say, you know, a few days, I'm only going to use um, two coats of this. So, um, we're Learned recently you've got to start with your little nail because then you don't smudge so you start with your little nail and move inwards and these infinity uh this infinity range from infinity i think it's called from opi with the silver caps they um they dry quicker than the other the black cap right then nails are done um okay so i've got primer on I'm currently working my way through Bare Minerals Prime Time, I think it's called. Um, right, so I'm now going to put on my eye primer. Um, and I'm working through my Laroque. That should do it. So I've got a damp um, blender sponge. I know in the last video, that I don't really use those, and but I've discovered that actually what you do is dampen them. <laughs> oh dear. Anyway, as I'm doing this as a video, it's bound to be something I normally do is just dab it around the face in spots, and then I'd use either the brush or the beauty blender to blend it. And I'll take it just blending underneath the neck as well in the hope that I'm transitioning some underneath my neck as I'm doing it, you know, taking some down. Oh, what do I think of that? What do I think of that? That's quite good. Even, even down my skin. Even down my skin. Yes evened it out. Right, I am now going to curl my eyelashes. I don't do this every day. I am doing it because I'm going out tonight. Now, anything I do here, don't copy me because I'm not necessarily doing this right at all. What I did here though, uh, years ago, or read in a magazine is that when you're doing curling your eyelashes, you're meant to squeeze, 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 squeeze. And you move up and up and up. I'm not that brilliant at it. So start at the base and squeeze, 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 squeeze. I'm going to move up and up and up and up. Keep moving up. I'm not, so I'm not brilliant at it. I'm not well practiced. I don't use these very often. Make a difference though. Yeah, there's quite a big difference. You can't see, but there's quite a difference between those two. Worth getting these. These are. Ico, I think. How do you pronounce it? Ico? You know, they do the um, mascaras and the eyeliners. Yeah. Okie dokies. Next step is going to be shadow. Over the base of my eye, around the whole area, I'm going to go to my, go to my low rock palette, I decided, because it's sparkly. There's lots of sparkles in that, that palette. And uh, as it's an evening event, I'm going to. It's called Under. Undercover. It's not sparkly, so that's a good base. So I'm going to put that on. Base of my eyes. I'm making this up as I go along because I'm not wearing routine eye makeup. This is not my day to day. But now, what I want to do is use a Trish McAvoy pencil. 
and it is a um let's see if I can read this it's called uh 24 hour eyeshadow and liner now what I want to do is use this because I want to do a kind of um put a dark all over my eye area eyelid area um so more of a smoky eye uh, in an amateurish way because I'm an amateur um so I haven't used this much I bought it a year ago I haven't used it much so I'm it's got a bit of a, it's a, a bronze look, it's a bit of a, a bronze effect to it, Ooh, whether it's zooming in for you. There you go. So, I thought that'd be a quite nice for the evening. So I'm going to put that all over my eye. Yeah. So, I'm going to go, I'll go to the rock palette and get a little dab or something. And I'm fencing something down here down here for the evening. So, I'll probably go that colour, maybe. Yeah, just put it in the centre. Put it in the centre of my lid. So, And I probably want a bit of highlighter at the top, so I'm going to go for a bit of highlight. The colour I start off with just up here. Yes, I think it's more of a highlighter. I probably shouldn't have put it all over. Anyway, let's see. I'm getting there. Eyeliner now, I feel like playing with. So it's going to be my bare mineral. Feel like me once I've got eyeliner on. The two things that make a difference for me would be then foundation and eyeliner. As I said before, I tight line. Get the table with a famous person. I won't tell you who it is. Anyway, she's um, she uh, she's a comedian, and she uh, does some. Um, hosts game shows and things like that. She's, she's a very funny lady. But last year I was also on the same table and I was with a, um, an ex-politician, uh, come um, marathon runner, um, come dancing icon, because he's been on Strictly Come Dancing. Um, and I was sitting next to him last year and I had just started the Couch to 5K, which is a program where you start running, you start running for 30 seconds and 60 seconds and blah, 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 and build it up to, to 5K. And I had been doing this for, I don't know, about three weeks, something, two weeks. And um, so I started chatting to him about it, I was running, and then said um, that I've been doing Couch to 5K and I just got up to five. I'm very proud of myself, I just got up to five. And he said, what, five miles? I don't know, five minutes. And his face kind of rather fell a bit and luckily at that moment he had to go up on stage to do a speech but um yeah goodness knows what was going through his mind when I said that <laughs> anyway oh dear so it was all true you know I wasn't, wasn't trying to be funny I was very proud of the fact that I got up to five minutes I felt like I'm a runner now I can I can talk their language because I could do five minutes <laughs> anyway I can do it for 20 minutes now or so but um so next thing I'm going to do is mascara and I'm using, I've thrown out my Tarte because it had come to an end and um, I'm using Laura Geller now. And I like Laura Geller just as much as I like the Tarte in that it's, um, it doesn't smudge, it comes off easily at night, it wears during the day. The thing about this is though, because I put different makeup on the normal, it's not tried and tested. Mascara is, the eyeliner is. The this isn't tried and tested alongside the Lorac. Um so I'm hoping it's gonna stay on, I'm hoping it's not going to run into creases, I'm hoping it's not all gonna run in together and run all over my face and slide slide around me. Aura. I am not doing under under eyes mascara. I I told you before, I, I know I did it in a get ready with me before, that's because Mary Ellen had done it. I um I just don't, I'm not used to that. I am going to do brows. I don't normally do brows, but I am going to do brows this time. So I've got my brow pencil from um, 
makes my eyebrows, because I've got heavy eyebrows, um, it makes them this wild if I use the brush end. But this Primark pencil is actually, I don't know if they still do it. I hope so. Now, um, since you're doing that get rid of me, I have been using the um, the quad, the It, it Quad um, by, by Pores uh, powder uh, because it's um, being uh, a white powder, it's, trans, it's translucent powder and I'm finding that's better for my skin in the winter. It doesn't make me look too artificially brown. Um, because I'm going out for an evening, I have to sign Candle Glow Sheer Perfecting Powder. Uh, there we go, can you focus on there? And we go, brushing on the swirls. I'm not going to go everywhere because <coughs> I don't like it sitting in pores. So I'm just going to brush it on my cheeks as I've got a powder surface that side for my powder blusher and I am just going to brush it on that side as well avoid avoiding this bit here so it's just on there and there and I'm going to put it up here because otherwise I, I will possibly get a shine but avoiding here so there now I have got a, a powdered surface. I've got a powdered surface for my um, bronzer and my blusher. And so, bronzer next, me colour. I'm going to use that. It's got a bit of sparkling for night time. I'm not smiling to find out the apples because otherwise what happens if you smile, your cheeks go up here, you put it up here, and then when you, your face is normal, your blush is down here. So I know where the cheeks are and keep my face as normal. I want something up here. It's not power. It's something red. Well, I've brushed my forehead with some blusher by mistake. So I've got blusher on the corners. I'm using MAC Prep and Prime. I don't do a concealer under there, you might have noticed. Um, I have not managed to find one that doesn't cause my eyes to look worse at my age. And I don't think I've got bags or bad under eye darkness to worry about. So there's no point in making things worse to actually look better for a look better I don't need. What I do have is darkness in here. So um, I'm using a Zueva, Zueva brush, anyway. That's the brand. It's 142 Contour Buffer brush. And I'm going to use the MAC Prep and Prime just in the corner. Just in there, a tiny dot in there. A tiny dot in there, where I do have darkness. And I can do that without any harm. You're going to know far more about this than me. I just think it's, you might find it interesting to see how ineffective I am and how absolutely useless at makeup I am. Someone once said to me, I'm, it, I look useless applying it, but it always turns out okay. And that goes for nail varnish and makeup. I think um, my eyeshadow, I need a bit more eyeshadow on this side. I have on this side, it's a bit unbalanced. I can see that in the mirror, so I'm a bit more there, off this on. I've got some furniture being delivered shortly. And at half past three, four o'clock in the afternoon, half past three, four o'clock, um, I hope they're not going to think I'm all dolled up for them. I like this. Now, this is, you know, this is labelled 24 hours. It's going to be interesting how long this lasts, isn't it? I'll have to give some feedback at the end. Now, the furniture has arrived. Um, I'm going to put on the luminizer that I've got. This is also Trish and it's, again, quite a few years old. So I don't use it very often. Put on my hand just to test it. I'll dab it on. Because, yeah, I'm not one for an illuminizer, but as I'm going out tonight, I'll do that. An important thing is not to get it in the creases of the under the eyes, isn't it? So just there, I'm putting it. I hope that's the right place, is it, folks?
Now it might look to you like this is a bit dark, the blusher, but actually in reality it's not. Um, it's just to do with the lighting. And by the time three hours have gone by, anyway, it's going to be fine. So what I also want to show you is what I'm going to do to my hair because I am going to put some Colour Wow on. You can see that focus in Colour Wow. Um, because my roots are starting to show here. Uh, so a bit of dark, um, yeah, a bit of greyish. So I'm just going to shove some Colour Wow on. And it's a powder that just covers up the real roots. And so it's, it's kind of adds a bit of a youthful glow because you've got dark hair, darker, you know, the grey is not showing. You can just really buff it, buff it on like that, if you can see. And uh, I haven't used this for a long time, actually. This, one, this one's lasted me, me for quite a while. But where I've got a grey there, I'm just going to, and I could get a blonde, this is brown. Brown, bronzy brown colour. And I could get a blonde and put a blonde up here, but I actually prefer the effect of um, putting a darker up there. I think it's a bit more useful. So I'm covering up the grey here with a bronzy brown colour, and that will just I mean it's just a, a vague appearance of more youthfulness than old ageness around me. So the brush buffing it in. Well I guess just like everything else, there's gonna be people out there who do this far better than me. Remember I'm not saying I'm an expert, I'm saying what I do. And I'm still learning. Yeah, so. Of all the root cover ups that I have tried, and there's been a few, I always come back to Colour Well. It's a British brand, you can get it in Marks and Spencers and so on, but this, you can get it on QVC, I hope overseas in the States and Canada and Australia, wherever you are. It's on your never put my hair back behind. And this lasts until your next hair wash. So, um, yeah, I'll be like this now for a couple of days and that'll be good, that'll be good. Right, so the next thing is, I've packed the eyeshadow, that's the only thing, eyeshadow lipstick I'm taking with me. So I've packed the eyeshadow into a bag, um, so as I can reapply it when I'm there if I need to, to around about half past six. Uh, but at the moment, I can tell you, this has been on for an hour and a half, and so far, it looks perfect, no creasing. The lipstick I am going to wear is, I've decided to go for red, I'm going to go for Omani. And the colour is for something, 423, I'll link it below, 423 I think, I'm not sure. So. Yeah, a bit festive colour, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Like that. I find these, this one a bit drying, but it's only for an evening. Uh, and I'm taking it with me to reapply. What do you think? Then you see. And also, I have put in my Nordstrom earrings that I've shown you before. I'll link them up here somewhere. I'll link the video where I'm mentioning them, and I'll put the link to them down there. But yeah, I thought that would be nice. So what I mean about the blusher in the film, it's um, it's not like this in real life, it's not that dark at all. At all, it's the light, lighting's making it, giving too much of a contrast there. So that's it. Um, next step is my dress and my evening bag. So I just want to show you that I have packed a rucksack here, or rucksack. Um, ignore that pile of clothes over there to the right. Um, packing them away, summer clothes. But... Uh, Yes, yeah, so that will have my evening bag in it. There's my evening bag, but I'm just going to show you in a second what I'm wearing. And um, I've got my makeup bag in, which has got very much in it. It's got the eyeshadow, it's got lipstick. Um, and I've got a my travel card for getting up there, £10, um, um, my phone. 
so uh, then in the evening what I'll do at, at the dinner is put my phone and my um, money and travel card in my evening bag and leave the rest in the rucksack in the cloakroom. So that kind of works for me. Oh, I've also got shoes in there. So I'll wear trainers to get up there and change into shoes, on my, my heels when I get there. But yeah, I'll just show you what I'm wearing them. So I've packed my shoes, but this is a red dress that I, it's um, Ronnie Nickel. And I've got this in red and black, black, and I bought it years ago. I certainly got my wear out of it. Um, and uh, yeah, because cause I'm five foot or so, I just thought this is an age appropriate evening dress for a woman my age who will fit and it fits me look at look at the length of it on me the five foot me so it's worth buying two of them as well bought it in black and this but the reason i said it's age appropriate is that it's not low at the front see but if i turn around it's actually got a low back can you see might not be able to see it's got a low back with the back um and it's got the glitter on it to make it eveningy without me looking ridiculous for my age the Lulu Guinness evening bag I've talked about in another video. Um, my Georgiana uh, bracelets that I got from Nordstrom last, last Black Friday. And the earrings I showed you earlier on. Um, so I think that's it.